Alright, and welcome to a true beginner's guide to Victor. And we're going to go over everything in a few short minutes. You'll know a couple of combos. There will be button annotations I learned from my last video. And so let's begin. First, let's go over the buttons. Alright, so this is the button layout right now that is the this is your default button. So we got left punch be square, right punch is triangle, left kick is X, right kick is circle. Pros, we don't pros you should be able to do by yourself. Um, what I like to do is also make my triggers, my right triggers, these two right here. So left punch, right punch will be my R1. Left kick, right kick will be my R2. Um, he doesn't need... Victor is very good for people that are just learning this game. Uh, his move list may look hard, but trust me, it's... Trust me, it's not. So the only other one that you're going to need... So we'll take left punch and right kick as L2, and it'll, it's only one move. So you don't need to worry about it. And heat burst. Well, actually, I like I like it as L1 because I have heat burst as L2. So this is the suggest. I this is my suggested layout, and this will be used for the combos. <clears throat> the sequence that you need to learn to perform. Now, this is nice, easy sequence. I've <clears throat> I've watched a lot of videos, so I adapted what works for me and what is successful online so after they launch and we'll go over it we'll, we'll do it in slow motion your down forward left kick right kick boom and then follow that by down forward right kick right punch and don't get nervous because he goes into a stance after that now there now tekken has a very good button input scheme so while he once he flashes you will press right punch button and he'll it'll continue to combo so let's so let's begin now we're going to start with his very vanilla go to launcher which is down forward right punch that's that guy so we'll start from there And then from there, we're going to build on because when they fall and when their legs are up in the air, you can still continue forming a performing a combo if you're new to Tekken. And then from there, we will do right punch, uh, right kick, right punch, and then follow that by left punch, right punch twice. Sixty-four damage. That's pretty good for a character like Victor. That combo sequence will work for just about every one of his launchers. Down forward, right punch. Forward, forward, right punch. So Victor's game plan is about counter hitting, and if you're a Mortal Kombat person, counter hits is basically when you interrupt someone's string you will um the certain moves will give you a combo because it'll crush them so to do a counter hit in practice you uh, just hit all, all four buttons and since we have r1 r2 set to that there you go so now i'm in a counter hit pin. down back right kick has a beautiful sweep and we'll do our sequence. Both punch buttons. We get that. Next, next launcher is while rising left punch. You can kind of see there. You can kind of see it. Basically, everything does the same damage. <clears throat> While rising, right punch. Same combo. We're not going to do the strings again. 
Uh, if you're asking why does he have, asking, hey, why does Victor have a while rising? Either one button has the same property. While rising, right punch is safe. But as you can see the way, you see that little blue thing that goes around when he does the left punch? That has a property where if they side dash into that direction, it, even one of the directions, I'm, don't, don't quote me, they will get caught. So that's the difference. Now let's talk about walls. Since Victor is kind of made for a beginner, beginners, I believe, you don't really have to worry about walls unless you're really up to them. But if you're, Victor has really good wall carry, so. You could just do the normal combo. And you didn't drop the combo because you hit the wall. However, if you when you feel comfortable, you can also do a wall combo, a wall ender, for a little bit extra damage and a little pizzazz in your combo. So we'll go over that. So basically when you get to the point where you're going to do the second John Wick shot into the end of your combo, instead of doing the John Wick shot, which is, you know, down forward, right punch, uh, down forward, right kick, right punch, you will simply do right kick, left kick, which will do a similar wall, which will do a wall splat. And then you will hold forward, right punch twice, left punch twice. Yeah, we'll go over that right now. So you went from going 70 to 75. <laughs> Not bad. There's balconies involved, wall splats. Um, yeah, that way you can just end with, you know, if you bounce them off of it or if you do a wall balcony, I like to do that. I like to do that one. Because, again, that'll knock, you know, because that string just knocks you away and then you're like, oh, now you gotta deal with his shenanigans. Or if it, Advanced combo for forward, 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 right punch, which is this launcher. This one is death on block. So, going to do after you do your two can can kicks, you're going to go into down back, left punch button twice, press hold forward to do your stance, and then from your stance, you're going to hit right punch twice, then left punch. That will do a little launch. And as they're in the air, you're going to do forward, forward, right punch again. And then you're going to dash forward, hold back, left kick, and right punch button for this. Or left punch button for that for that bad boy there, which gives you nice juicy damage at the end. Well, it takes a little practice, but you got it. Seventy-two, and now I can shoot you. So now his other special launcher: up forward, right kick. This one's a little bit trickier, so bear with me here. It's not; it, it does take a little bit more practice, but it's not. This this launcher is special because if the knee misses, nothing happens. Right. You're, besides getting destroyed, a lot of launchers in Tekken that if you hit the character while they're already in the air, like for example, like a lot of strings have like jump kicks or something, or they just randomly jump at you or something. And if you hit them with the launcher, you don't launch them; they just fall flat in the ground. This move, because it has that ground pound afterwards, launches no matter what. So if that knee hits, whether they're up in the air, whether they're dead, whatever, they will launch in some fashion. It just depends on if they were already in the air, you lost part of your combo. So we'll show, we'll demonstrate that. This is as it, this is hitting them standing.
And you can see you don't get as much damage off of this launcher because it has that special property. Now if we set Kazuya here to jump. See how see how my natural thing misses? So you're losing some damage because you're catching them up in the air, but again, it has that special property where you will always get a launch off of them. We'll do a rage combo. Same thing if you play Mortal Kombat, same thing. Once you get to a certain life percentage, I think it's 30, character going rage, you'll get an extra special move. Uh, and for Victor here, it's down forward. It's almost for everyone, it's down forward and two punch buttons. So they made it universal practically for the whole cast. Uh, trust, this isn't, it, it only took a, it takes a little practice, but it's not that hard. And you're only going to get like a nickel damage here. So you went from 64 to 76. If it's getting you out of the mat, if it gets you out of the match, by all means. If you land a forward forward two, forward forward right punch, you get a good amount of damage because that's one of his best launchers. And there's no dashing forward when you use this on me, like because he he has such good range. So again, you get extra nickel damage. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video here. I think that'll give you. We went over in depth on how to do his combos. I really hope it helps. This character is so much fun. I was going to continue on and go over his buttons and stuff, but honestly, his YouTubers doing that better than me. And so, if you're more interested in an advanced guide, I will maybe if I get better with him, we'll go into that. But there's other videos out there. I'll give some other YouTubers a shout out so this is epic out